Hey everybody, I'm really excited for week four video update. It's cruising on by, um, just, well, I guess sign that time do fly. Um, pretty exciting announcements that we have this week. And um, so I'm just gonna jump right in. Uh, we, this week, have begun um, our 24-hour advertising. So we're really putting the word out there and being strategic with how we do that. So you'll see the messages kind of I guess floating around town and online and we should be getting a lot more feedback on that. We chose to do that because I know that the perception is that it seems like we're very busy and um, that we're absolutely filling up, but we do still have open appointment percentages and we've committed to the salaries of a lot of new team members that we have to support. So we do absolutely need to start advertising and we do have the capacity to take care of the extra patients and cases that we commit to taking on. So I'm really excited to see that come to light and um, for all your hard work that you've been putting in and that you will put in for those patients who um, become ours. Uh, also, beginning um, next week, we are really committing to the Slack app. And so that's how I will be able to share what types of advertisements that you can expect that we're putting out there. I know there was a question that came up this week about um, a coupon advertisement that went out. And um, you would have known that that was not actually a coupon that our practice committed to because you would have seen it in Slack if we had. And so it would have been a, a quick way for you to just question that, which is what happened, but um, to make it a little bit easier and to relieve any worry about that kind of thing. So what'll happen is once we get all of our team members playing in Slack, we can start using it for all types of communications and then you'll get those notifications. Um, and we've mostly just been playing in it now, but we will start to put out some real work relevant things in the Slack app. So if you have not created yourself a profile, and uploaded your picture, do that now. Um, check your email, you'll get a link, you can sign in, and then you can also download the app and it'll sync up for you so you can receive those notifications and change your settings how you like. So that is mandatory now. If you don't wanna put the Slack app on your phone, you do at least need to log into the desktop so you can get those notifications and you need to choose to get them by email if that's what you wanna do. I'm a big fan of the app. The um, notifications are very minimal, and not invasive or disruptive at all. It just makes a quick little bing and you can even control the sound that it makes. So try and do that now. It's gonna be really um, impactful to the way that we can all communicate and keep you abreast to the right information that you need. Um, also, one cool thing that is in Slack is a feature called Praise and um, it is simple, but probably needs to be shown on exactly how to use the praise feature. So what I'll do is I'm gonna make a slide and put it in the break room so that you can see exactly which combination of symbols that you need to get to make it happen. But the idea is that you can do a forward slash praise and um, then you can tag whoever that you want and give a compliment. We've done all sorts of things in the past from kudos to well done to the pickle and um, at one point we had a little rolling bus if you remember that and it was a way that we gave praise to team members who did something going above and beyond or really made an impact on one of our values or on a client for that particular week and then we'd, we'd, we'd read them aloud um, with rounds having to focus so strictly now on what's happening in a day and what's going on with our patients I feel like praising in Slack is just gonna be the perfect fit for us. And what we'll do is we'll allow all team members to contribute the praise in Slack, and then the team leaders and our management team will be able to monitor those and reward for those. And of course, um, we wanna have some kind of symbol of um, a person who's chosen for doing the most outstanding thing or having the most frequent um, praise given. And so we're gonna morph that into an employee of the month. So you can give praise call it as you see it, give that praise out loud. The management team will choose from those an employee of the month and those people will be awarded a premium parking spot with a sign. We all know that parking is really a premium thing here so they'll have their own parking spot on the pavement. And um, even further than that, we'll have some select prizes from them like gift cards and some swag and some 
um, actual fun things that they can choose from. So I'm excited to see that come together. In the meantime, check out the slide in the break room, start praising each other and get on Slack. Um, other good news is that I wanted to give a compliment to our team for working really hard here. Um, the training module in Humanity is going great. Y'all are doing really, really well with this, and I'm really proud of our group for embracing this and committing to receiving news and training in this way. So great job there. Uh, also this week, we had a great core focus meeting. If you haven't gotten a chance to watch that, um, go into Slack and um, view the link there and you can see the recording of it. Um, in the future, those meetings are gonna be mandatory, so everybody needs to attend or log in virtually while it's happening. Um, but for this one, since we had some technical difficulties, I'm fine with you watching the recording of that. At that meeting, we announced that we have some new assistant managers, which I'm really excited to see settle into their position. I'm very proud of their leadership skills already and um, that's what got them this position. So a big congrats to Charlie who's going to be our CCS assistant manager, Drew Ploche for the resort, and then um, for the nurses we have three as they're divided by level due to the volume of that group. So nurses one is Rachel, nurses two Kayla Sharp, and nurses three Danielle. I'm really proud of these people again and I can't wait to see what they can accomplish for our practice. So um, start reaching out to them. They're going to be great guides for you um, through whatever you need them for. Also, this week we started on some break room enhancements. I hope you've been enjoying them already. Um, we have some, some fun mindful tools that we've put on the table like puzzles and toys and color books and all that. Um, there's a reason for that. Those are great relaxing toys and they keep you really mentally sharp, which is um, gonna be a great thing for while you're breaking and nourishing yourself. And speaking of nourishment, I'm really excited to announce that we've been working on some meal plans to get um, providing food here easier for you. They're going to be cost effective, healthy, and um, I think they're pretty delicious actually. So I'll be excited about some details coming up on that soon, maybe even within the next week. So watch out for that on next week's video. And we've also been putting some healthy um, food like fruit and snacks on the table for you to um, just help you to make good choices for yourself that'll fill you up and again um, keep you ready for working and relaxing when you need to. Also in the room we've added two exciting boards. The first I'm going to call it the sign up board for now. It's kind of a blue cork board with some clipboards on it. The clipboards have different sign ups of things that we have going on whether we have a paper poll that we're wanting to just get your votes for like something um, a Christmas party game is up there right now. Dawn has put up a Sentinel sign up sheet so you can get some product for your pets. And then also um, there's a team member who's selling po boys, I think it is, for um, a child's school. So those are the types of things that'll make it to that board. Those are more of just like an individual commitment type of thing. If you're interested, definitely not a mandatory information thing, but hopefully keeping them off the break room table will help them to catch your eye if they change and then um, not get lost or, or ruined by anything. The second board that we've put up is what I'm the most excited to share in this video this week. It's called the Simplify Board. And I mentioned when we started these video updates that that was the goal for us to focus on for the rest of the year is how to simplify. And I think it's just going to be a constant goal, really um, kind of a, a sixth value for us, if, if we had to say it that way, in the near future um, to begin. So what goes on with the Simplify Board are there are columns for you to add protocols or issues of things that you think are just complicated that need to be simplified or that are broadly misunderstood or, or maybe are inconsistent, something along that area. It's kind of like saying, if this is a difficult task, if we constantly are chasing our tails in this area, this is where we need to focus on making a consistent decision that everybody can be happy with, or we need um, to replace this with something more functional. So there's two sections, one's for hospital-based things and the other's for resort-based things. So you would write your idea down, other people can come behind you and support that they wanna focus on that area too by voting for it, and then we'll pick one or two a month to try and focus on, and um, Melinda will help to deliver a consistent protocol on those based on the solutions that you came up for. So we'll begin the break room 
um, you know, coaching you through how to add those. If you feel like you want to put something up now, um, there's a wet erase marker that goes up on there. Just make sure that you don't use Sharpie, wet or dry erase only, please. And um, if you need help learning how to work the board or you want to know if your issue qualifies, come see Melinda or I and we'll help you get it up there. But we're really excited for, um, for starting that Simplify board and getting it going. Also, um, we're piecing this video together today because I have a guest, um, guest speaker. So I'm going to switch it over to Dr. Kristen now. Hey everybody. I'm excited to talk to you today about a couple of things. So Allison gave me some of her video time. The first thing is we sent out Christmas party invitations this week and I'm super pumped that so many people have uh, responded already. It really helps us in the planning process and I'm so excited that most of y'all seem like you're going to be able to make it. It's going to be a lot of fun and looking forward to having you all. The second thing I want to talk about is at our Christmas party, uh, starting last year, we gave out Team Member of the Year awards. We're excited to do that again this year. We're going to have the same categories. There's going to be four of them, leadership team, nursing team, customer care team, and resort team. What I did today is create a survey uh, through SurveyMonkey that you'll be receiving through our normal chains of communication, Slack, Humanity, Facebook, and when you open up that survey, you will be able to nominate um, someone from each of those categories if you would like. You don't have to do someone in every category if you don't feel like you know people in that group very well. But if you know an all-star in that group and you feel compelled, go ahead and nominate them. Once we get all the nominations, um, we will choose winners in those categories and they'll each receive a $100 prize. And they'll go into competition for the overall team member of the year for Lafayette. And um, that winner will be chosen by our leadership team and owners, and they will receive a $500 award. So we're super excited about it. We have the best team we've had ever. And I, I just think there's gonna be a lot of good candidates. And it's a very good chance to um, recognize the people that you work with that are doing such a great job. And who knows, you might be the one that wins the award. Okay, so thanks for Dr. Kristen for sharing that message. Um, really excited to see who makes the cut. Um, last few pieces of information that I have for this week are that Melinda got us some new walkie talkies um, to some additional walkie talkies is really what I should say. So we now have them for the lab nurse for the day, the treatment room nurse for the day, the hospital front desk and the call center in addition to the resort team who are old pros at how to use that. So um, the four that I just listed groups um, the purpose for them all connecting via walkie-talkie is mostly for patient updates or for help covering certain areas of the practice if we need. So those groups are going to communicate on channel 8. Finally, um, actually today and right now even, Alex is starting round two of WOW School. So I'm really excited to see how that comes together. We've changed those days. So WOW School is now gonna be held on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays from three to 5 p.m. I wanted to share this with the rest of the team because although this is mostly a new team member event, um, follow closely these sessions because as an existing team member, if you feel like there's an area that you're weaker in, that you want to strengthen yourself up, that you maybe never learned, um, or if you need to refer to when that information is going to be shared, I think everybody really should know where we are with WOW School each day, what session is going to be covered. And if you've never experienced it and you're interested and have some free time or want to make it a point to attend WOW School, we would love to have you. So um, just reach out if that's something that you're interested in or that you want to know more about. Um, or you can self-empower yourself by looking at the session list that we have posted in the break room and has dates by them. So you will know where we are, when a certain content is going to be um, reviewed, and um, exactly what goes on in WOW School. So that's your weekly update for this week. Can't wait to see who the pumpkin contest winner is. They'll draw those next Tuesday, and um, you should expect another video about that time. Uh, I hope y'all have an awesome weekend. Stay safe in the weather, and um, rest and relax and take care of yourself. Have a great weekend. Bye.